good morning. Day nine. Got up from the rumps, probably the best sleep, best wild camp sleep I've had. Uh, probably from about nine till 6.30. Packed up, walking around the headland, heading off to Polzeath. Go through there, catch a ferry, cross to Padstow, then we're gonna go into Padstow and look for some supplies. I need a new walking stick, so I need a new pair. Um, and some food supplies. And then from there, we'll just head off down the coast and see how close to Newquay we can get by the end of the day. We have some surfers. This is my morning stroll. <clears throat> Just got across this beach, over that hill, and it shouldn't be too long to the ferry. Last bit of the path before Padstow in the distance. It's too low tide, so I've got to walk across the sands to catch the ferry, which is just in front of that larger boat. This is the lookout station that covers Padstow Bay. Goes in through there where the river meets the sea. That headland way in the distance, in and out. You see the first bit of building that's into Padstow. Come in and out around that headland, around the next headland, around the next headland. Across the beach, round the back. Across another beach, around the headland. Just another quiet beach with a couple of surfers and almost nobody here.
nine, excuse me, it's on day 10. Um, day nine was actually a relatively easy day. Um, the walk into Padstow is absolutely fine. Um, catching the ferry. And then from Padstow onwards, the uh, topography is such that you're really just walking across the top of the headlands, not really going up and down. And it's probably like a walking through a country park in a way. So how fast you can go, miles per, miles per hour as it were, obviously it's greatly increased. Um, I pushed hard, did 25 miles, probably too many. Um, and then stopped on a little cranny overlooking a bay looking back. <laughs> 